Well, part three of uh, room speed. Now, uh, um, if we're outside and um, play noise into the speaker and measure, we'll get a flat frequency response. Um, that's a very fast room. Uh, outside, uh, sound levels can change 50 or 60 dB instantaneously. If we go into a reverb chamber, the sound level will be 15 dB louder and, uh, and there's no change in sound level as the uh, signal is modulated, uh, the sound level changes in inside a reverb chamber. Um, but the frequency response inside of a reverb chamber will also be flat. So we have two environments that we always get flat re response curves in, anechoic chamber or outside, and reverb chamber, which is, sounds hideous. Uh, neither of those listening environments are acceptable. Between those two environments, we have listening rooms. Um, what we've found out over uh, years and years of trying to figure out why people like certain kinds of setups in listening rooms, it's not the frequency response curve that's being tweaked by the addition of acoustics into the room. Uh, usually that only accounts for as much as 1 dB adjustment in the frequency response curve. What's usually being tweaked is the speed of the room. The speed of the room, the amount of dB difference between when the sound is loud and when the sound is quiet. The speed of the room, uh, in, a, in a kind of a crummy sounding room, might only be 3 or 5 dB difference. Uh, in a reverb chamber, which is awful, it's a 0 dB difference. <laughs> Outside it might be, uh, you know, outside or in an anechoic chamber it might be 60 dB difference, sound level differences. Um, but in a real room it might be uh, 5 dB. Well, that's really slurred and blurred sluggish dynamics. So uh, what people like in acoustics being done for in the listening room is that the speed of the room speeds up. The sound level differences will shift from 5 dB to 10 or 15 dB. In other words, you get huge amounts of increase in speed uh, with a reasonable addition of broad range acoustics to the room. Uh, 